status of emergency. Yes, sir. I need to. I need an ambulance as soon as possible, sir. We have a, a, a gentleman here that needs help. He's not breathing. We're trying to pump him, but he's not. Okay, up. we're on our way. It's just a sad moment to have to carry one of your brothers to his grave. To be a person that cannot be a part of the everyday life of this world. It could be devastating. There were several interventions. We several. Were, and many times we were kept away. We sure were. In fact, I know for a fact because I lived many in Vegas at one times time. and I we were kept myself. away. It was, it was not cool. Mm -hmm. I actually had to, I've gotten in physical fights with his security to get to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, it wasn't good. And I remember I drove my car right through the gates one time. <laughs> they would, uh, they would put vehicles in the roadway to block us. Mm -hmm. It was ugly. The public didn't know, but we did many times try, and they kept him away like he was the president of the United States. And depression of central hydrocarbic, putting propofol into Michael Jackson's home, in your opinion? Are you saying if I, if I felt a pulse? For us, uh, Reeby go shopping, they see, that's Reeby Jackson. I'm sorry about Michael. You're mm -hmm. constantly reminded every day. It hasn't been the day that he passed mm -hmm. that I haven't been reminded by two, three, four, ten people, whatever, giving their condolences, and I understand they're caring. But it's hard because it's constantly brought up to you all the time. How in the world could this little boy, and he was a kid, be so talented? Everybody around here knew Michael Jackson was it. The world just didn't know it. He kept reaching for higher plateaus. And he felt where he wanted to go, the group couldn't go with him. I knew then there was like shooting a rocket up to the moon. <laughs> he stole the show from everybody, including the Jackson Five. 